Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well today we're going to show you how to add um, Contact Form 7 to Divi. Now you may ask why would you want to add a third party email plugin to Divi when Divi's got such a great email client anyway. Well that's true but one thing that Divi doesn't have is a file upload option which is a little strange but um, Contact 7 is an absolutely free plugin we're using the fantastic uh, Divi Supreme modules plugin today and they've got options to style it instantly like the Divi theme so let's get started I'm gonna to go to a page that doesn't have this on well before I do that I better install the contact form 7 so I'm gonna to go to my dashboard and to plugins I'm going to say add new in the search panel here just need to type in contact form 7 and there it is in the search right there I'm going to go ahead and hit the install now once installed I'm going to go ahead and hit the activate button and there we have it now it's installed we've got a little contact icon in our dashboard here if I go ahead and go to it it comes with a sort of pre-built form if I hit the edit here you can add a new one if you want to but this first one's a great place to start I'm gonna hit the edit button and here we have it I mean it doesn't look like much here you've got basically um, a text area for your name that's the label your name uh, text area for your email subject and message and you can add URL boxes telephone numbers regular numbers dates text areas drop-down menus check boxes radio buttons etc but the one I'm really interested in is the file button the file download button and to add one of these things to the menu just put your cursor where you want this to appear and I want it uh, just after the text area and before the submit so I'm gonna put my cursor right there I'm just gonna click on file and it'll ask you a few things you can limit the file size by putting a number in bytes there and I think there's a thousand twenty four bytes to a megabyte so put in whatever you want there you can change the acceptable file types if you want to and put in the only files that you'd like to accept by default it, it uh, accepts most sort of document type files you can give it an ID or CSS class if you need to we really don't need to do any of this unless you're unhappy with some of the settings so when you're ready just hit the insert tag and there it is right there fantastic okay if you wanted to change any of the labels for here instead of your name let's just change that to name obviously you can change it to whatever you want um, and we're good to go let's just save our changes little save button down the bottom here now to actually put this on your site we need to copy this short code up here and you can left click on it it'll highlight it then right click and copy or control C however you like to do it but because we've got Supreme modules installed we don't even need to bother doing that now that we've created our form let's go to the page where we want to put it I'm going to enable the visual builder once enabled I'm going to go down where I want to work I'm going to create a new row let's do it right here I guess little green button for a row I'm going to have one column and inside let's put our module Divi by default comes with all these light gray modules these darker blue purpley modules are all the ones that come with the supreme modules and they're a great addition to the Divi the Divi modules are fantastic on their own but this really does add a few extra features that are priceless um, so let's go up and find the contact 7 form there we are supreme contact form 7 left click and open it up now it's going to ask you to select your form for here if you haven't created one or you haven't got contact 7 installed this won't work there's my first form contact form 1 
and there it is it's put it in there and by default it's sort of done it to the style of Divi's form anyway and there's our upload file button that's the bit I was interested in and like all the other modules it's got some fantastic very quick design style options um, you can show error and validation messages if you want to don't need to link this to anything there's the error and validation messages and here's the messages that are going to pop up if you misfill it and this is the message that's going to pop up when you correctly fill it and send it so that's so you can see what you're doing here don't need to link don't need really want to put a background in there so let's go straight over to our design now the labels these are the labels right here it's like everything else let's make our text blue let's make it a little bit bigger not that big and let's make it semi bold there we go don't want any text input text area and select now this is input text area and it'll also be the check boxes as well we haven't got any of those at the moment so let's go in there and let's do, do something simple I don't want to put a weird background color in there because that's just crazy but if you do that's what you can do right there all I'm going to do with this is give it a bit of box shadow so it's got a bit of depth there as you can see that's just added it moving on down placeholder we've got no placeholders placeholders would be if we had the text inside here at the moment we don't have any so I'm not going to even worry about that same with radio checkboxes we've got a file button but really you can't do too much with that button apart from give it extra padding top and bottom left and right it just gives it a bit more space there you can change the font color of the no file chosen or whatever the, the message is right here right underneath here again we'll make that semi bold and why don't we make that blue too I suppose oops there's the text color like I say the button itself you're pretty much stuck with that default button but that's okay as long as they can upload their file that's fine and the only other thing I really want to edit here would be the button itself and of course they've got a little styling box for that use custom styles for button text size is fine I'm gonna make mine white it'll disappear into the background there button background let's make that blue and then when we hover on it let's make it purple perhaps that's fine and one more little thing and we're done I'm just gonna add a little oh, actually two I was lying two more little things I don't want the little icon when you hover over it it's got a little icon there I'm gonna switch that off if you'd wanted it on leave it on and choose your icon there's plenty to choose from from the elegant themes icons there I'm just gonna give that button a bit of box shadow and I see we've got a bit of a border around there let's get rid of that border simply go up and little arrows going to take that down to zero so we've got no border there and that's it you've got a perfectly styled form there with a upload file button if you want to customize these messages you can if we go down a little bit further but it's further up the page I believe error messages here we are error messages you can make that red as you can see it's got a background color there red now on our error messages we'll make the text white that's really gonna make it stand out let's go down a validation error background color if it's going to be aired out let's make that red there we go and again we'll make that text white here we go validation error border color 
make that red as well so it's all red and the same thing with the success let's make that one solid green background color let's make that green common sort of when thing goes well color text will make white and again the border will make that green too and there we go you've got a perfectly customized form in no time at all like I say and it's got the choose file button which is really great so let's save that save our changes once saved let's exit the visual builder so there we have it there's our little contact seven form name email subject message upload file button and a send button really easy to do with the supreme plugin modules so i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day